Hello students! I'm Teacher April and our lesson for today is about Venn Diagram for Week 2. And our objectives for today's lesson is you are expected to solve problems involving sets with the use of Venn Diagram. For Week 2, this is an example for learning Task 1. You are asked to list down inside the diagram what is asked in each set. So set A is the factors of 14, B is the set of prime numbers less than 13, C is the set of even numbers greater than 5 but less than 15. So to complete the Venn diagram, you need to identify first the elements in each set. So for set A, factors of 14. Ano yung numbers na kapag pinultiply mo, ang sagot ay 14. So, we have 1 times 14 equals 14. 2 times 7 equals 14. So, therefore, the factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. For set B, set of prime numbers less than 13. So, prime numbers. Ano ba yung prime numbers? Prime numbers are whole numbers greater than 1. So, hindi kasali si 1. Whose only factors are 1 and itself. So, ano ano mga prime numbers na less than 13? So, we have 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. So, therefore, the elements of B are 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. For set C, set of even numbers greater than 5 but less than 15. So, ano ba yung even numbers? We have 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, and so forth. Greater than 5, so that is 6, but less than 15. So, hanggang 14. So, what are those even numbers? We have 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. So, elements of C are 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. So, since we have 3 sets, A, B, C, we will use three circles to represent the given set. So, the first circle is named as set A, this is set B, and this is set C. So, let us start with the middle part. Yung ibig sabihin dito, ano yung common elements found in set A, set B, B and set C. Ano-ano yung mga magkakaparehas na elements na mayroon sa tatlong set? Mayroon ba? Wala. So, leave it blank. Next, how about A and B? A and B. Is there any common elements found in set A and set B? Mayroon. So, we have 2 and 7. So, Tanggalin natin to at ilagay natin yung 2 and 7. Okay. How about B and C? B and C. Is there any common elements or may magkaparehas ba na elements? Wala. So, leave it blank. Next, how about A and C. Is there any common elements? Okay, meron. So, we have 14. So, sulat natin dito, 14. Okay, so let us now complete the elements of set A. So, we already have 2 7 and 14. So, ano na lang yung natitira? 1. So, ilalagay mo dito, 1. Okay, next. How about set B? So, set B, meron ka ng 2 
and 7. So, ano na lang yung kulang? We have 3, 5, and 11. Okay. How about in set C? Meron ka ng 14. So, ano na lang yung wala? We have 6, 8, 10, and 12. Okay. So, this is how you represent the Venn diagram of the three sets. So, this is an example for learning task 2, letter B. A group of 70 students were asked whether they watch It Bulaga or Showtime or both programs on TV. 39 of these students watch It Bulaga and 35 of these students watch Showtime. Question is, or the questions are, how many, how many students watch It Bulaga only? How many watch Showtime only? How many watch pro both programs? So, how will you solve the problem using the Venn diagram? So, as you can see, the total number of students in the problem who watch It Bulaga or Showtime is 70 students. And 39 of these students watch It Bulaga. And 35 of these students watch Showtime. So, we have two sets. It Bulaga and Showtime. So, we will represent two circles for set of It Bulaga and set of Showtime. So, para malaman natin kung ilan ang nanonood lang ng Showtime, so, we need to get the total number of students who watch It Bulaga or Showtime, so that is 70, minus the students who watch it bulaga. So, that is 39. So, 70 minus 39 equals 31. So, ito lang yung nanonood ng, it, ng showtime only. 31 students. Next, para malaman natin kung ilan ang nanonood lang ng it bulaga, so, get the total number of students who watch it bulaga or showtime then minus natin sa nanonood ng showtime which is 35 students so 70 minus 35 equals 35 so there are 35 students who watch it bulaga okay so as you can see the total number of students in the problem is 70. And we have 35 students who watch It Bulaga and 31 students who watch Showtime. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang total niyan is 35 plus 31 is... 66. So, kulang pa para mag-70. So, all you have to do is uh, subtract para malaman natin kung ilan ang nanonood ng parehas na show. So, we have 70 minus 66. We have 4. So, therefore, there are 4 students who watch both It Bulaga and Showtime. So, parehas nila pinapanood ang dalawang shows. So, let us check whether the total number of students match the total number of uh, students in the two circles. So, we have 35 plus 4 equals 39 plus 31 equals 70. So, we come up with the correct number of students given in the problem. So, kung gusto nyo i-check ang total number ng, it, ng students na nanonood ng Itbulaga, so we have 35 plus 4, that is 39. Sa showtime naman, 31 plus 4 equals 35. 
tama yung total nila. Okay, so let us answer the questions. How many watts it bulaga only? So, it bulaga only, we have 35 students. So, 35 students. Lagyan nyo ng students. Next, how many watch showtime only? So, ang nanonood ng showtime only is 31. So, 31 students. Next, how many watch both programs? So, ang nanonood ng parehas ay 4 students. Okay? So, this is how you solve the problem in learning task 2. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.